Hey guys, good morning and thanks for checking out your latest long range forecast update. Michael Clark here with BAM Weather and the Weather Portal. Uh, lot to discuss today, a very busy pattern here in terms of uh, severe weather, um, snow, wind, rain, you name it. Uh, very, very busy pattern here over the next couple weeks. And I want to get right into kind of the latest here in terms of the details. So uh, this is a look here this morning at, at radar. You see a busy radar picture here across the Ohio Valley. Missouri, northern Arkansas, down through Mississippi, Alabama. And it has certainly been a busy, uh, busy, busy look here across the central and, and south central uh, portions of the country with rain and thunderstorms. And we're going to be looking at more of that here as we go throughout the course of the next several days, even the next couple of weeks. All right. So first and foremost is really the concern at, this, at the the excessive rain, the severe weather, and just the overall unfavorable conditions that will continue to emerge here over the next few weeks. And for that, I've, I've kind of put this map together of where I think planting delays are going to be likely and, and uh, where I think it's going to be difficult to, uh, you know, essentially get out there and get work done. And if you do find a window, that, that could be that, that could force a, a even possibly a replant condition to where another round of very heavy rain or very cold air would come in just behind it. And so I'm worried. I'm, I, I, what I would like to see is, uh, or what I would like to recommend is just trying to hold off, be a little patient, because the pattern the next two to three weeks here is just not favorable for getting out and, and, and getting in the fields and, and, uh, and you know, avoiding significant uh, weather, uh, you know, inclement weather. The three to seven day impactful weather map, I mean, it's loaded with colors, it's loaded with disturbances, um, and it's going to be very, very difficult uh, to to have a day where there's not going to be any action, especially over the next week. We've got very cold temperatures. We've got the blizzard conditions in the northern plains, periods of moderate to heavy snow from, from Great Falls to Bismarck up into the southern Canadian prairies. Uh, frost and freeze conditions if possible here uh, behind this big front. A bunch of wind and and strong to severe storms with heavy rain that will move east here days uh, two, three, and four across Chicago, St. Louis, and the deep south. So again, very very active picture here uh, going forward. In fact, this is not the map. I want to show you this map real quick. This is day one, day two, and day three severe weather forecast. And areas of focus, at least to 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 uh, really pay attention to going to be right across the central Arkansas today for the potential of tornadoes, damaging winds, and excessive rain. Tomorrow, the front moves east. Uh, really, the biggest area of concern right now is going to come across Iowa. Uh, central Iowa, northwest Missouri, and northeast Kansas, and eastern Nebraska, uh, where there's a potential, depending on how this can evolve, we may see a moderate risk upgrade in this area uh, for a, a, a severe weather outbreak of not only uh, Possibly strong tornadoes, but big hail, uh, big hail risk as well as this entire uh, storm system moves east. And then even out to day three, this is a rare uh, day three enhanced look for the Ohio Valley and then even stretching down into the deep south. So a, a day three enhanced risk for severe weather, not something, uh, you know, not incredibly typical around here, uh, especially with the risk for severe weather, 30 uh, percent risk here. It's possible we could see a moderate risk upgrade here for damaging winds, uh, depending on how this evolves getting into day three. So very, very active pattern here over the course of the next three days. Really encourage you to be watching the alerts come through on the application. If you have questions, uh, you just let us know. We'll be happy to answer them for you. We talked about this potential here for delays in planting. Uh, it, it, it's, this is a 60-day percent of normal precip look here, and again, Looking at the, the next two weeks and looking at where the rainfall has been, it's wet. 125% of the normal precip here, uh, it, it's been wet across the Ohio Valley and, and the, the Tennessee Valley down here through the Arklatex regions, and that may looks to continue. The temperatures have been extraordinarily cold the last two weeks. Temperatures have ran 6 to 10 degrees below the average, and we don't look to see really any significant warm-ups here anytime soon. Uh, what I want to show you is just kind of a, a quick rundown of simulated radar, and we'll kind of go through each system here real quick. What we're going to see is snow moving out of Minnesota here this morning, and then that system 
just bringing rain and thunderstorms here across the Ohio Valley into the Tennessee Valley here over the next 24 hours. Uh, some of that rain could be heavy at times and really kind of uh, hovering and, 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 and hanging out around Kentucky, Tennessee. Then snow moves into the northern plains, blizzard conditions, not to mention what comes with this in the terms of wind. Uh, it's, it, th this is a, also a very big deal with this is the wind that's going to come with this system. Check out here across Nebraska, Kansas, into Iowa. Uh, tomorrow uh, into Tuesday, tonight into, into Tuesday, winds could be gusting over 50, 60 miles per hour. Um, so major wind event here. Uh, continuing along with the storm system as it as it heads east that can provide severe weather you can actually see here on wednesday this is the actual storm system it's huge big comma shaped uh, style storm and uh, it's really it's difficult to cover all of it but watch the severe weather threat evolve tomorrow okay this is tomorrow evening all right you can see here just a, a nasty look here across the portions of iowa nebraska kansas a nasty squall line here Damaging winds, hail, tornadoes being possible. And then as that threat continues to shift east Wednesday, that threat will once again reemerge in our day three risk here across the Ohio Valley and the boot heels of Missouri and into Arkansas and Louisiana. So uh, just, just very, very busy here. Let's take a look at the, at the uh, projected precipitation forecast that the GFS really has done a great job. Um, and I want to talk about here just over the course of this this first couple of days we'll take it out to 96 hours the heaviest of rain is going to fall from ohio indiana kentucky tennessee uh, down into uh, missouri boot hill missouri but really the bullseye here look at the latest gfs just over the next 96 hours of two to three inches of rain across ohio and central indiana um, that's kind of the, the epicenter of where the, the heaviest rain is going to be but you also look across the northern plains where there's snow and moisture as well uh, North Dakota getting getting inundated with moisture at this at this rate too. You go out to the next ten days, even you take this model out to fifteen days. I mean, this is a remarkably active weather pattern, featured with a bunch of rainfall and several shots of cold air continuing to to be on tap here. Um, you just look at the GFS; it's just remarkable. It's just again, kind of wave after wave, um, and then what we have to watch. Uh, for the next storm to come through is a, the, the recurving typhoon in the West Pacific. That's going to be another big system here April 20th to the 21st. And then we may be looking at another big system beyond that. It's really difficult to cover all this. I'm actually really having a hard time just kind of conveying all the different storm systems. Let's just say it's, listen, it's every three to five days right now of, of an area of low pressure. It's going to come through with cold and, 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 uh, and moisture. Right, so here we get this main system out of here. I'm going to pause it here Friday evening so we can gather our, our bearings. Okay, the, the system, storm system number one's out. It's cold. And then we get in through uh, into late into the weekend, more rain and storms here across the Ohio Valley deep south. All right, high pressure settled into the northern plains. And then our next storm system we're going to watch, going to come early next week. More rain, snow mix, cold temperatures. All right. We'll take it out. I'm going to pause it to day 10. There's no reason to go much beyond that at this point. But another storm system, that's our 21st storm system. That'll be coming from the possible recurve of the typhoon. So a, a big shot of cold air and a big storm to come with it. All right? So again, just, just active. And like I said, that 15-day rainfall map is nothing to is nothing to uh, you know to ignore. That's that's an impressive amount of rain that could certainly be problematic here over the next couple of weeks. So Here's the models broken down. European Ensemble, GEFS, GFS, uh, the 1 to 5, 6 to 10, 11 to 15. These are sent in the agricultural commodity uh, emails here in the mornings, but just absolutely uh, just very, very active. GFS, quite, GEFS quite a bit wetter than the EPS, all right? And uh, I don't see any reason to disagree with that or, or go against that for the time being uh, going forward. And, and here's the thing. I want to show you, too. This is the temperatures. This is the forecast in the 1 to 5, in the 6 to 10, in the 11 to 15. Big cold front coming. It's a big shot of cold air. So, you know, again, anything that's been planted that doesn't get washed out or blown away, um, you know, it, it, you're, you're going to get a big shot of cold air. Um, so really just encourage uh, holding off for now. It's just not the right time uh, with respect to dealing with the elements and dealing with the weather. Uh, it's, it's, it's just a cold forecast. 
uh, the next two weeks, okay? Now, looking into the North Pacific, looking at our, at our outside of the box methods, if you will, for ideas of what's to come. Watch the typhoon. Watch, watch the Western Pacific here. Watch it recurve right here. It gets picked up by the jet uh, Friday afternoon. Watch that storm go into the Bering Sea over the weekend. Gets down to a 959 millibar low here Sunday. This would also suggest that about two weeks from this period, right around probably May 5th through the 10th or so, another very, very big storm system could come through, another possible outbreak of severe weather, kind of like the one we're going to see now. It's a multi-day severe weather event from, from now to, to Wednesday. Um, so multiple systems going to continue to suggest um, up and down, warm, cold, and rain. And that's, that's the, the, the best way I can really illustrate this pattern for you. This is a look at the week three and four forecast. There is some potential here for some moderation getting into week four, as Brett touched on Friday in the long range, but the pattern still remains active. We're still seeing these precipitation chances. The severe weather aspect of this is going to continue to re remain amped and above normal and just going to be difficult really to, like I said, um, get out there and do much. So this video was, was loaded and, uh, with a lot of stuff. <laughs> so difficult to cover a pattern like this with so much going on. Check your 10 days. Check your hour by hours, okay? If you're within range of the hour by hour, look at that. And, and if you have questions, reach out to us in the chat. That's We're here to help answer any questions you may have. It's going to be a busy pattern coming up. Be sure to keep you posted. Have a great day.